Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. I didn't put what game I'm playing. Okay, girls. Front line. There we go. Guardar. Yeah, there you go. We're ready. All right, now finally I got my microphone back. So now the audio looks sounds useful. Man, I feel like an idiot. Like I played like the, the other stream. I just I played the whole game like narrating what the chat what the chapter were saying, and none of that was recorded. Like fuck me. But anyway, chapter two. Let's try it. Playing blind, so... Stas Interrogation Room, Berlin, Germany. The sealed interrogation room is cut off on all kinds of signal, listening devices and daylight. It is silent and 100% suited for waiting. Okay. Muna. The oppressive mood here does not come from the seated people, but the person pacing back and forth is mostly definitely filling the air with tension. Is she coming or not? No, I didn't know. Is she coming or not? Is she coming or not? She calls over saying it's urgent and then she'll leave us hanging. Hello, I'm not subordinate, not a criminal. Come on, you two, say something. I never seen a leader like her before. Hell, I never seen a woman like her before. I have no idea what the hell she's thinking. She has so little regard for us, then she shouldn't have cows over in the first place. All the brass know how to do is send on a little bit. Well, all the brass know how to do is send on a Will kill them to spare a thought for us? Holy shit. The door to the room flies open with a mighty kick and a tall, imposing, ornamental face. In question, storms in, slamming the door shut behind her. This mission is called Lim Neo. Our, object or our objective is to find a missing cargo truck. It went missing between segment C6 and C9 of Autobahn. Uh, 109. 69, nice. A picture flies out and lands in front of K. The extremely low resolution means that the only thing they can make out is the silhouette of a truck. Police work, yeah. Rumi's eyes sweep over to him. Jay immediately swallows the words he was about to say and shuts up. All the highway surveillance footage, along with Along this region was destroyed. You must recover the vehicle and its cargo. Understood. What resources do we have? Only the personal present. You are not to leave any traces behind during the course of this mission. Also, don't overstep your boundaries. Understood. Straven, this is the first job I have assigned to you. I am honored to have gained your trust. You didn't get the assignment because I trust you. You got it because your record proves you are suited for this job. Any questions? Hmm. No questions. You made yourself very clear. Make sure you check in on time. Yes, ma'am. Room knows and bills on the other than music. She's trying to protect her face. Hmm. Inside Stacy office, large crude leather fly across the display board. K turns around and spins the stylus in his hand. These are upcoming work arrangements. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm kidding? Shreven, did she drug you or something? 
we have a blurry photo of and a stretch of out man long enough to raise her. Could she be making it any more obvious that she's messing with us? It's so simple that I mean, I could see through it. How come you can't? I do not believe that is Madame Rumi's intention. Also, this mission is up there of the utmost secrecy. She will not have assigned it to the people she did not trust. That look like someone she trusts. Everyone in the bureau knows that two of you work very well together and you have lots of experience in handling such things. I wonder if Muna works for the Stacy, how the hell does she how the hell do we are able to get her with the boxes? I don't, I don't know. Maybe later. Hmm. You are more experienced than me when it comes to these matters. How should we proceed? Things don't just vanish into thin air. We need to check the transport route. Uh, I'll feel better letting you handle that. Take note, time is very tight. Understood, I'll go now. You take your time. Yeah, he flops down on a nervous sofa and turns on the TV. An, an ill patient in Berlin has suddenly developed symptoms of shock and has been admitted in the use. ICU in St. Mary's Hospital. According to sources said by Oh shit. Ooh that was the the drug that girl administered to that guy in the uh, chapter one. According to her sources, a patient claimed to have been dosed with a drug produced by Galatea Corporation. Galatea claims that the product in question has not yet passed the phase 3 trials and is not being distributed on the market through any channel. The truth of the matter warrants further investigation. <sighs> that girl is gonna get fucked. This incident not only highlights the chaotic situation of a drug market but also the negligence of the National Drug Regulation Administration. Many Galatea pharmaceutical plants have been shut down recently, pushing back the release of IDUN indefinitely and slowing the development of therapeutic medicines. The suffering patients have no choice but to seek aid through unorthodox means. With such incidents can only be stopped if the government put the lives of the people first and gives them a safe and reliable channels through which they can purchase legitimate medicines. I wonder. I wonder the shadowless I knows that light dies. I mean the stays the Stasi knows light dies. So, have they told Shadowless? Click, click. Hey, that's she's cute. Shadowless looks really good against the backdrop of this big screen today. Mm, I wonder if one of Galatea rivals is trying to deliberately stir something up. Mm, you are. A beautiful face suddenly presses itself in, in front of her. This woman looks like she has just stepped off a fashion spread. Excuse me, Miss Moon. Would my I check your camera? Mm, sure. So you were taking pictures of Shadowless. She sure is popular. Hmm. And here I thought you were taking pictures of me. Ah, uh, I guess I was very flattering myself. Oh, then may I take a picture of you now? Mm, my, mm, my makeup today isn't the best. Some other time, maybe. Hmm. Somebody tells me that she was about to break that camera. What do you think, Gato? On the outskirts of Berlin. By a road line with burden trees stands a tall and rather decrepit house. <coughs> no, who is. <laughs> what was this really the house? This can't be the place that Jay Guy is sending off to, right? Stop complaining and get to work, stop. All right, all right. This way it looks so beautiful. Can it even be used? It does look a bit old, but it actually, but it's actually quite well equipped. There's even a vehicle for us. Oh, hold on. Why are we the only ones doing the cleaning? We'll already be done by now. You hadn't wasted so much time jabbering. Bro picks up their cleaning equipment and pushes us up into the house. The others remain outside, organizing their ammo and firing reserves. Reserves. Everyone looks solemn and exhausted. 
I can see from your face that you already come up with thousands of ways of dealing with Mario. If you can hold it in, do share them with me. I'm sure your ideas will be way more hair raising than the 11th horror flick. I know how you feel 15, but Mario might still be of use to us. I understand. Ow! 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 Oye! Oye! Hey! Suelta, suelta, suéltame. Oye, saca, saca. Ve, vete acá. My cat just bite me. I understand, Commander. It won't be easy getting information out of her. How hard can it be? I can't get her to talk as long as she has a mouth. I also know how to conduct an integration, but the main problem is we're only safe for the time being. Even with temporary safe house with more little skills, it's only a matter of time for her to break to the signal barrier and get a message out. If we don't solve this issue, we'll have to keep switching locations. If Paradeos take her away, all her efforts will have been for nothing. Can you break her comms module? I won't, it won't do any good. Only an electronic lock will work on her. Unfortunately, the only person who can create one is still on Dream Plan. And when would she able to do that? Break to her signal barrier, I mean. Hard to say, after all, Nito's never cloud or virtual connection image. Well, it may look like a narrow space, but it's actually a completely different system. I can try hacking, but my methods will be right accrued. So it's like, those are Windows and Nito's are Mac or Linux. In that case, which that moment an extraordinary noise suddenly comes through the commander's communicator. The shield shriek pierces the commander's human eardrum. The two dolls are also displaying reactions of intense pain. Ah, it's neural attack. Oh shit! Star collapses to the ground. He leaps spasming out of control. I'm preferring a lot better in comparison, but even she is struggling to move. The commander holds his turn of the communicator and stares at the collapsed star in alarm. Damn it. We're already under attack. Get out of here, commander. The commander, the only one unaffected, is caught in a dilemma. They can they can just leave the doll behind. Oof. Okay. Spasmy star also returns to normal, but she is still sprawled on the ground from the exertion. I have never come across EM interference of such intensity. We must prepare for counterattack. Where is the enemy? Leaning against the wall, star gets to her feet feebly as she scans the surrounding cautiously. However, throughout the initial neuron slug, the safe house has been utterly still. The enemy, enemy was expecting that phone shut out. Oh, for if I start to change the music glasses. What on earth just happened? Are both of you alright? I'm okay now. It took a hit, but it only lasted a second. Still feeling very tense and easy, I'm um, getting in touch with um, Nine. Nine, respond if you copy. For a five, what is it? Do you feel anything just now? No. Ooh. Of nice usual self, nothing seems to have happened to her whatsoever. Did they not notice anything? Looks like it. I suppose the phenomenon was localized to where we are. Localized. Suddenly struck by a thought, Star turns to look at the entrance of the safe house. Crap, roll and stop. What? As if to confirm Star's suspicion, stop screams come from within the safe house. On a shaded boulevard, an, ob an oblivious mod lands slightly on grey. Then she brings her hands together and slowly pushes them against each other. She spreads her hands and the mod is now lifeless. We couldn't lock under the stairs position. We have already deployed our scouts, but Morridor's signal was very weak. 
then we'll not see all together several minutes ago. We can trace it. Save this mission. What about you? Ah, okay, it's um, Este es otro momento. They need to be in the dress shoulders and eyes, look carefully. We cracked the data from the previous transmission. They sent the point towards this location. Right, send me the floor plans of all three factories. These factories are all abandoned. What do we do next? Find something from the factories and put them in there. Find something from the factories and put them in there. Make sure they're less than 50% for complete. Huh? Understood. You. Great race is reaching. Awaiting orders. Go and serve a surveillance system. Don't leave any blind spots. Yes, man. But. Go. The place has been abandoned for too long. I'm afraid the power supply will not be able to support the surveillance equipment. That's fine. We still have time. We should buy it since centuries over there. No need, I'm going in person. Oh, yes, ma'am. After a pause, Gray tosses the corpse of the mud away. They need to look at each other in a certain way where they should live. Gray glances at them. Get to work. Yes, ma'am. They need to stay clear for Gray to emphasize. She dials someone number on her communicator. You. You look dog tired. She's a wife. Another wife. I am. I just hope it will go smoothly this time. Goddamn father of making wives. It's just been trouble after trouble. Tell those of you that to take better care. Thank goodness we have you. If only she thinks so as well. She'll probably be able to tell. But who cares about her? She'll have to ask for my help eventually. The goods are still with me after all. True, I'm almost done on my end. Good, I'll see you later. In the house of the o on the outskirts of Berlin. Stop! The star kicks open the door and comes up to her friend anxiously. Oh boy. The two dolls are immediately greeted by the sight of soft and rogue sprawled on the ground as they enter the house. Unlike themselves, these two have clearly crashed right away when they came under attack. I rushed to them and starts running diagnostics while Star runs over to Dandelion who has been laid down on the sofa. Seemingly oblivious to all the commotion, she is just lying there silently. Star leans in to inspect her carefully. Is anyone is launching an attack, the one they must protect is. Hold on, 15. Hmm. Just as started freezes in confusion, her hand is suddenly caught in a grip. She turns her head in surprise and finds herself staring into a pair of familiar eyes. Dandelion is gazing at with her eyes wide open. Nice. Oh! Those, 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 star, those eyes of star. What? What is it, 15? Is something wrong with your lang language model? On fortifying command, stand rooted on the spot, really shocked by this sudden development. Then the. No, who exactly are? Don't be alarmed, 15. Get. Get it to get it to. Meow. This is another of one of Van Dandelion's stupid jokes. No, this is in Dandelion. You are M4. Oh, M4 pets start on the head and pierce at the ghost, my commander. Oh. Are you going to say hello, commander? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Mm. You. Being addressed directly of a son leaves the commander completely flustered. Yeah. It's like, I, I, I like, oh. it's like, oh my god, it's her, she's back, and it only took, like a year, when was, when was Polaris Light? No, no, when was chapter 13? Like a year? 
a long time. And four seems content to just gaze affectionately at the old friend who she has greeted in a long time. Scene. Looking deep into her eyes, the baffled commander slowly grinds her composure. Welcome back, M4. Okay, D. By now, no one can doubt her identity. So that neural attack was you doing? While the others are all caught in the emotional moment, four or five is hanging on the sideline, the very image of annoyance. And here we thought Pradeus was on to us. Sorry, I didn't know my awakening will be will have that side effect. That's all right. I'm not fishing from apology for you. However, could you revive those two first? Oh, of course. And force sits on the sofa and puts her feet down on the floor. She stares on the legs, seemingly struck by the coolest feeling of using an unfamiliar body. Both the commander and star are visibly concerned as they watch her uncertain movement, causing a forced ch chuckle. I'm not a patient in rehab. You don't have to fret so much, Christine, Commander. <laughs> it's been a while, girl. Did you? Come on, she looks a lot better than you did just now. I might just be an outsider, but even I can tell you're making her uncomfortable. You're not an outsider, 45. There isn't a single outsider here. You're our cherished companion. Oh, friendship. That's right, 45. Stop saying such things. Mm. <laughs> Who's in there now? 45 shrugs and does not bother to argue, but her face looks visibly more relaxed. <laughs> yeah, for, I mean, 45, like, come on, man. We have, we have we have fucking walked through hell together. We're, we're, we're like family. And for walks up slowly up to row while lying on the floor and sob. Huh? What? The crash dolls leap up instantly. What just happened? Oh, I'm far. I'm far is away. Do you? More smiles up a up Would you get everyone upside for now? I need to have a word with your man with the commander in private. Hmm? But why I also wanna have war with you? Hold on, what what exactly is going on? Rose stares at the star with confusion, but the latter merely give give her a head shake. And four strokes up face and pats her on the head. Be good, so we'll talk later, okay? Oh, just give us a minute and we can talk for as long as you want. Oh, don't cry, so. So she looks a bit indignant, but she's much better behaved in front of M4. Oh, let's get outside. I'll explain. After double checking that M4, the room seems fine. She leaves everyone else out of the room. Leaving the commander alone with the newly awakened M4. You girls could talk a, you girls could talk a bit more. I love that, but you must have a lot of questions. Indeed. I'm sure you can tell that I am in a very peculiar state at the moment. There are certain things that I want to keep from them so as to not cause unnecessary worry. Yeah, like where the hell are you? I'm quite curious about your current state, but more importantly, where have you been all this time? <laughs> you been in Sion? What, what was the thing? That white space? When confronted with this question, M4 pauses and frowns, then she shakes her head. I'm sorry, but I can't answer that. You can't answer that? That's right. What's the meaning of this? I have to keep things from you, but for your sake as well. It's mine. I really cannot divulge that information. I can tell you everything right now. But please believe me. I'll never do anything that will cause you and my friend harm. All right, I believe you. Tell me, tell me only when you can. Also, I still haven't had the chance to thank you. If I hadn't been for you, we would all have died there. It was the least I could do, and it was also the prime reason for my ritual. Of course, I have to say, my friend, I never expected to be thanked for such a thing. Regardless, you still have my gratitude. 
Speaking of which, how did you make it back and where is Dandelion? My body is in here. Right now I am merely a string of narrow cloud data. I'm borrowing Dandelion's body for the moment while she is asleep. There's no need to worry. However, sustaining the presence of two narrow clouds is very taxing for this body. I will have to leave when the load becomes too much for her body to bear. I see. Wait, you have to go again? Only after my mission is complete. Oh, 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 sorry. <coughs> Don't worry, I won't be too long until our proper reunion. <coughs> she said, but there's still like two events after this. <coughs> she said, but there's still like two events after this where we don't see her, so. <laughs> we smile and for once up to the command and carries her face. Oof. Oof. Nice. It must have been very hard on you, command. This, this is the male fantasy that every every male wants and it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, by the way, we're taking the needles from the underground base as prisoners. Their evil duke of the build is too much for us to manage. Can you handle them? No problem, leave them to me. But your body? I'm fine. Alright, then I leave the matter in your hand. But please don't push yourself. Of course, don't worry, I'm, I'm not the way I used to be. Not to mention saving Harry is also one of the reasons I returned. Saving who? In the pitch dark and silent room, all she can hear is her own breathing. A beam of light shines through the darkness, by blinding her. A cool voice snaps ruthlessly. Wake up. Ooh, you swing by every, once every two hours, like clockwork. I would go into the same routine again, electrocution, waterboarding, sleep deprivation, and change things up a bit. Star punches more than on the temple. Blood streamed down from their forehead, leaving a trail down their nose. Is that all? I haven't had enough. This bitch. Star accepts the invitation, a knife made of alloy gleams faintly in the dark as it slices. <laughs> The human body that gives more of such perfect disguise comes at a price that she's paying now. The human body feels pain. In the horse, I beg you, please kill me. This is unbearable. Oh, I want to cry. I'm not allowed to cry. Will you hit me again for crying? She's playing. Seriously, and you bored with this? Mother's exaggerated expression vanishing in an instant. Is that good enough for you? Did you get a kick out of that? Oof, what a drag. But you know I can switch off my pet receptors, so what's the point of doing this? I'm falling asleep here. She's literally trying to make you angry. I know. We know his station started to lose on that punch. She likes this game, we can heal her. Well, I could only find anything you want after rewinding my memory. That's okay, we have plenty of time. Ah, shoo. If it were for Minimo Gen, you, who wouldn't be the one being tortured right now? Who would be the one being tortured now? You? You're not even worth the effort. A dull girl like yours is just young to me. I'd probably be your, you'd probably be your dear commander. He kicks over more the chair and steps on her face so hard it contorts. Oof. There's no need to waste our time or everything. Tell us the details concerning the Operation Cocoon and the identity of the man Noah Thouder. What answer would you like to these questions? Let me think. Mm, the aim of Operation Cocoon is to destroy Berlin and Father is Kruger. That's the name, right? Of your PMC boss. What? Kruger? No way. Star was she went to school, more blood flowed down her cheeks. No, it's really starting to feel like an interrogation. You're still too gentle, too gentle. You should get a good grip on reality, you're not going back to Perdeus. Ha. You seem to have some kind of misunderstanding about Perdeus. Oh, I forgot, you're just regular cheetos. 
of the lights go on inside the house. The person appears to be obscured by the dark now opens their eyes and watches monitor closely. That's it for appetizers. You should know that there is no meaning to your struggles. Of course there is. That's not for me to decide. It all depends on you, Commander. Go on. We are actually opposites, you know? In fact, I am ma I admire the crazy- Oh no! She also wants the baby! Robin- Oh! Oh, what a- What a bitch! She used that name! Oh my god! Commander, she is in mech- Oh my god! I am aware! Ooh, that was- Morito is bloody and beaten black and blue, but she looks utterly unperturbed. And they quick to smile. She slowly wiggles into a sitting position on the floor. Now, Commander, there are many things you are unaware of. She wasn't my sister, to be exact. Exact. She is me, and I am her. What? So? She never told you what what's to deal with us, did you? Actually, we share memories and emotions, even of the same soul. Then will you tell me what Paradeus is plotting? When will the fire go off? You need a day? I tell you someday, but not now. That's weird. Commander stares at Morito and laps into silence. He starts a bro with touches in rage. She lifts her rifle and is just about to beat Morito with it again. Hold it, 15. And for puts a stop to the her are all outputs. This is point that she's too resistance to pain. At least someone's got a brain here, isn't that right, Nimogen? Info bushes past the commander and starts and comes to stop before Morido. You turn to think you're playing us or fools. But that isn't the case, the truth is your loyalty means nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. And for place a hand on Morido's head the next moment. Oh my god, come on! Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh no. I didn't want it. Oh my god, I didn't want it to fight. Okay. I have to fight now. Please don't beat my ass too hard. Okay, that that doesn't look so bad. Move M4 to the mark point. What's the mark point? Oh my god, you fucking want me to... How the fuck do I get there? Oh my... Oh shit. Okay. You... I think this is... I need... No, well, there's no way I'm gonna get there, so... Man, this is hard. Uh, okay. You force field. Okay, I think I can do it with probably with this team. Maybe no. Uh, no, let's try this. Uh. Let's put him for here and. Okay, let's try that.
This is just an escort mission, so... She'll be easy, right? Right? Oh, what? McLean? That's... Oh, McLean, don't think we have to fight her. Oh my god, no. What did you... Sons of bitches. Well, I cannot fight, so. Fuck. No, McLean, I'm sorry. <gasps> Puta madre, destroceamos en una. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. You didn't deserve this. Eh? Bang, bang, bang. Furious fireball knocks her down amidst a jigsaw puzzle of shattered glass. Uh, that hurts. Then still packed prickles of pain is crawl along her limbs and up her spine. She tries to wade forward to no bail. The fragments of broken glass by her hand reflect her watch of face. Who whose face is this? Number one number ten, eight, seven, six facial data detection successful. Attack data detection failed. Defense data detection failed. The girl in white can't be bothered to pay attention to the machines draining all the information behind her. She claws while the other face. No, this is my face. This guy's assessment fail. The whole eye gearing white hands down the final break of the assessment. What the hell's going on? I guess maybe a secret objective is to kill all the Maclians. <gasps> Could I just teleport there? What? Oh, 
Push it, push it. There's go. There we go, push it. Yeah, I can. Oh my god. Okay. This event and Elon cannot be radars through electronic warfare. Be sure to make good use of these radars in the upcoming battles. Attention to the person who takes place of friendliness on the other end of the teleport node. But there's only one teleport, so I can't really use it. Well, I mean, it's not useful right now, so... I'm sorry, my clan. Respectfully approach the gear in white who is checking on his names. Sister father say that this batch of test products are of extremely low quality so they can be retained if they meet just one criterion. Yes, I understand. The gear in white looks up on the name list and looks around as she's clearing all excess items closing at the warehouse. From the day onwards, you're all more them. And so the gear's fate has been decided just like that. That's not my name, I'm not Morido, my name is Morido. Some girls cry out in defiance of their fate. Yes, I am Morido. But many more calmly accept the shackles of their destiny. What the fuck? What's going on, man? Oh, wait. I don't think... Yeah, no, the girls cannot do that, so... Escape, escape. Next one. <laughs> Fuck, I lost one. Man, remember when Gundams were a, a problem? <laughs> well, no, I, I'm just kidding. I mean, these Gundams are like... Do, the, these double sonos are like easy peasy, but... Man, I remember when gun. I only... I only fight a Gundam if... If I had... Um... Carcano, so... It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I need to... Shotgun. Shotgun machine guns. Okay. Uh, I have core and
LTX definitely. M19. Uh, is RPK? Yeah, RPK is kind of got good, like, I mean, for that. I think. Fuck no, I'm dead. Give me. Let's get it done for And slug. Slap, bro. Slap. Double flash. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I should have like do some I should have done some work and actually see what teams are good for this but eh blind round bitch oh Are those the enemy that are like 500 armor? I don't know, so... I mean, if they were, they, they were fucking easy. Even before I actually find them and I get destroyed by them. No, 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 wait, what? What? Okay, yeah, no, I, I can't do that. I can't do those. They're gonna fuck me over. That wasn't the, the best thing for the best enemy. Pobre máquina, eso duele. Who, who are you? It's only a girl with a face that's identical to hers that appears before her. I am number 10954. 
Why do you look like me? Are you are you my little sister? The girl's face twisted into a cruel mocking smile. Huh? You have some nerve, but the fact you speak to me there is going to be the real one. You have a number too, and if you have a number, you're not the real one. I got that. No, I'm a human. I'm, I have a name. I have a name. In that case, what is your name? My name is. No. Who am I? She stares at the other side, which are gleaming with cryptic amusement. Her mind feels empty like a jacket that has been blown through a washer. All that's left are empty pockets and shredded lint. Wow. I wonder, are those memories from Mordor or MacLean? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, I have I have an opening. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. That still hurts, man. <laughs> Amidst the confusion, she hurriedly grabs the arm of her sister, but bears the same face. Sister, I found you a way. I found a way out. Let's go. Let's run. She has been waiting for this flame opportunity for far too long. Come again? I say we can feel you while, while they aren't paying attention. Her hand is marked away. No, what I'm asking you, asking is, what did you scold me? What's wrong, sister? Her sister bursts off laughing. She laughs so hard she doubles over. Sister. Oh, oh. What are you laughing at? Oh, I won't leave this place. On top of that, I won't let you leave here. Her sister suddenly stopped laughing and pressed the alarm button on the wall with a slender finger. Oh my god, what a bitch. With capital B. Okay. And down. Oh my god, am I gonna have enough thorns to do this? Holy shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god, no. I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I fucked up. 
Oh my god, I didn't see that it was a dead stock. I hate myself. I mean, right now I'm. I have to play your RNG. Hopefully this guy moves. Oh my god, this is... Oh no, please. Please don't fuck me up. Oof, thank, thank god. Could they do it? I wonder. They can, but I don't have the. Yeah, no. Maybe with a bit of different strategy, but right now I don't. I don't know. Okay. Seven, six, four, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God! Oh shit! Oh shit! Eight, six, five, four. Three, two, If I'm lucky. She stands at the edge of a deep ravine, gazing with satisfaction over the corpses of the little girls that fell. Now then, am I the only mortal left? Yes, big sister. 
She looks away from the ravine and turns the size of the inferior pillar standing before her. What is your beating, big sister? Get on your knees or bark like a dog. Oh my god, what a bitch. Yes, big sister. The inferior plus immediately falls to her knees and imitates the dog. <laughs> Who did you see that? What a good girl you are. I like girls who do as they told. <laughs> her maniacal ladder echoes through the ravine. Okay. If this guy goes up, I'm fucked. So hopefully he does. He does. Oh, <gasps> thank God. Let's fucking go. I'm sure there's a guy with a much easier way to do this bit. I did it my way. Hey. Oh, Ten bucks. I mean, not a great place to farm, so. Slowly open their eyes in the darkness. A revolting stench washes over her as she unconsciously frowns. Where is this place? Why did those monkeys interrogate me just now? You just got, you just got M4 madness. Oh. The scene before Morido's eyes is slowly resolved into clarity as the quiet sounds of dripping water reaches her ears. The plant. This is the Paradeus plant. No, this is just any plant. It is the place most familiar to her. The steadily running conveyor belt is laden with rotting corpses that are emanating a now shining stench. This is a plant that selects test subjects, the place where raw materials are manufactured and where the test subjects are chosen to become needles. Molitor instinctively backs away and the corpse is lying half buried in, in the mud. Immediately start reading and screaming as though they startled by the sound of her footsteps. Disgusting, absolutely disgusting. This inferior product, inferior, inferior products. Even she can't help but break into a ghost book at such a ghastly sight. Not because she's afraid. Corpse. Get lost, trash. There is one corpse among them. Soak in the field and mire, the dirtiest and most repulsive of them all, completely unrecognizable, yet with the strongest will. She is crawling, crawling, towards the only place where there is light. I told you not to approach me. That repulsive, rotting corpse doesn't seem to have heard Morido as it crawls up to her, hugging her leg tightly. It fills her with shock, panic, anger. Looking down that revolting face of the unidentifying corpse, Morido suddenly stomps on her with her high heels, desperately trying to struggle free. Just die already. But no matter how much force Morido uses, she cannot shake her head off. Come here. A gentle voice calls out from behind Morido. The cadaver, which was utterly moved by Morido's shouts, Seems to be transfixed by it. Not really. Morido unconsciously speaks that name as she looks back in shock. Hmm. It's you. Why is it you? And for tenderly embraces the rotten carcass in her arms and gently packs her back. She looks at the still panicking Morido with pity in her eyes. Is this what you call the perfect creation? Of course not, they don't deserve that title. They're nothing more than failures, I'm different. The darkness that cruises in all, on all sides gradually engulfs M4, but in the moment where before she vanishes, 
She's still looking at that Morido bitterly. Don't you? Don't you dare look at me like that. Morido? Morido swirls around like a startled bill. On the other side, McLean gazes gently at her from where she is standing in the light. You, how did you? Don't worry, Morido. You can do it. Do what? What are you talking about? Oh. She sees her face reflected in the mirror. Not the one. She's stripping balls so hard right now. Not the one she has now, but the one from before that. The one that she had at the very beginning. Her real face. Jin, your face isn't hard. You can learn it too. She remembers now. At the beginning, this good failure was more capable than her. Everything she couldn't do, this woman could easily and flawlessly. Why? Hmm? You could do everything, but why did you defy father? McLean gets at Morido with sorrow. Because I couldn't do those things, Morido. I just couldn't. I don't understand. Why do we have to hurt others to achieve a goal? Don't we cease to make this world a better place? Father's orders are absolute. The only thing you know is hypocrisy. Morido. McLean slowly approaches Morido and Morido shrinks back in fear. Let's run away together. What? Morido freezes for a moment and McLean uses this opportunity to walk up to her. Let's get out of here. If we stay here, we won't be ourselves anymore. That was the question McLean has asked her that day. She had the most talent out of them all, yet she kept the fine father and was repealed to punish for that. What a fool. In a moment of despair, she reached out to her. McLean. And when faced with that hand, she responded by. Ah. You don't deserve to have that face. McLean clutches her blood-stained face in agony. Mordor has stolen her face. She looks down from above for the howling Macklin. Yes, that's it, that's right. If she can counterfeit the bad face, then why not just steal someone else? Is that how you treated your big sister? Is this how you treated your one and only friend? Mythos were created to change the world. She was nothing more than an insignificant copy. And not only did she presume to have as she were the original, she didn't even know who she was. She thought the fine father was a joy, but true is she didn't deserve to fear father. Only a perfect individual I can satisfy father's need. Do you consider yourself perfect? Of course I do. God pretend chase. What? It's like father. Mordo looks back in surprise. She's now inside a brightly lit lamp, looking at the back of a familiar figure who is pounding on the table in frustration. Before him, countless isomers have been roughly thrown at the disposal point. Why? What does it work after I did so much? A pan in Munasol. Does a pan in Munasol actually exist? Father, Father, please look at me. I will help you. I will help you accomplish everything. Father! The mentor with the scoff and looks at the edge dead Morido. Father, I am the most perfect of them all. Please look at me, no matter what it is, I will help you complete it. You? The man peers at Morido disdainfully. Yes, I'll surprise the others, whatever is great or narcissist. Even Bramit, I'll surpass them all. In their fair book, Mordor tries to take the man's hand, but he casts it aside in contempt. You're all trash. The leader of trash is nothing more than the slightly bigger piece of trash. Father. Mordor gazes into his eyes, pleadingly. The man quietly regards her for a while, then his eyes suddenly light up. You. Yes, it's me. I'm here, father. Mordido eagerly spreads her arms, however, 
the man walks straight through them. Morido's eye way within disbelief, still trembling. She swirls around. Oh, <gasps> Lucia! No, oh, oh, well, oh, that's M4. Wait, I'm gonna take a pic I'm gonna take a screenshot. Oh fuck no! Sister. The man walks towards N4 A1. who is standing in darkness. I found you at last, my dear sister. You're the one I've been struggling so hard to find. The perfect one. No More little legs begins to sprint off their own accord. She runs with all her might in pursuit of the man of the man's back. But no matter what she does, she cannot close the distance to the two of them. No. Why is it her? How could it be her? Oh. Never forget that William is a uh, sister con. Father, look at me. I'm here. I'm the one. I'm the perfect individual. It's me. It's you. It's me. It's not fair. It's you. It's me. I mean, that, uh, that could be a meme. Fuck it! I should have taken a screenshot of that. The mood so plan, plan begins to collapse. The room where they learn to change their faces begins to break apart. The lab where they filter out the immunosomes is also swallowed by the darkness. Her virtual connection image has collapsed. What did you do to her? What, what for? What was wrong? Alden for the was put her hand on Morido's head, and several seconds later, Morido started coughing and wheezing heavily. She looks much more fair than before. Man, all that happened in just a second, seconds. Not that much. I simply, I simply crippled her ability to contact the outside world and made some simple alterations. I didn't hurt her though. Don't worry. Doesn't look that simple to me. After her initial agitation, Morido slowly regains her equilibrium, but now she looks utterly lost. It's enough to make someone think that M4 has inflicted some kind of irreversible psychological damage on her own just now. <laughs> the rest is up to you, Commander. I need to rest for a bit. <laughs> you, 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 M4 just gave her fucking PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> Morido suddenly burst into maniacal laughter, startled the commander. Star was simply startled, reflexively bashes Morido in the head with her rifle butt. Blood gushes from her forehead and her head tilts to one side, but her mouth is still split in a divine grin. She keeps giggling through much more softly. Who, who are you? Who on earth are you? What the hell are you? Who are you? Do you dare answer me? To you? And for to sit back and leave the room, completely ignoring her. As Morido glares at them for packs as she left, her laughter gradually ceases. Have you gone mad or what? Morido doesn't answer the command the question. She just stares back and leaves the direction and fall went. You want to know my secrets, don't you, Robin? A long while later, she slowly speaks again. You are not to use that name. The commander appears at Morrow with a frown. There is no knowing what actually happened during that brief clash between her and M4, but this is the first time Morda has shown any willingness to cooperate. I can tell you what I know on one condition. You are in no position to discuss conditions. I will only tell you that's my condition. Robin, you're the only one that I trust now. Huh. Morido looks towards her, grow and star. The two dolls exchange glazes. Don't trust her, Commander. Commander? Step aside for a bit. But this is the first time she's taking initiative to speak. Whatever she's lying or not, it won't hurt to hear her out. Sorry, Star. Sorry. Star wants to continue arguing the point, but after one look from the commander, she turns away in, in half. If anything happens, I'll come run in. Yes, I'll be counted on you. 
Man, that was that was heavy. That was heavy. B. Shadowless. There's been a major breakthrough with the Galatea serum incident. The suspects have been taken into custody and the police are now building a case. Sometime early, all the station contacted the Galatea Corporation for a statement. They declined to respond until the investigations were over. According to our sources, the lab research in the Indian cell remains closed and the project leader, Mrs. Gray, remains incommunicado. The NDRA has yet to make their stance clear regarding the matter. <coughs> Inside the Stasi interrogation room, the chair is metal, made freezing cold by the air conditioning. The agony of waiting and the fear of the unknown blends into one, and Nelly can't help but rub her hands together. The sound of footsteps approaches as though to pronounce the final chapter. Oh, hey, isn't it a Frau Nelly? What a coincidence, we meet again. Oh, do you feel surprised? Not in the least. Then do you feel scared? Yes, a little. Good, our objective is achieved. Well, that's our for presentries. Let's cut to the chase. Jay slaps the notebook in his hand on the table with a twop and then pulls out a chair and sits down. He places his elbows on the table and leans his chin on interlaced fingers. In no size, this is the first time this undisciplined field agent has ever put a stern and serious. It fills her with a strange sense of terror. Did you know there was a problem with the serum? And you know I didn't. What I meant is, although the serum hasn't passed the phase 3 trial yet, this problem has never come up before in the early experiments. So I don't know why it happened to the man I administered to. It was looking so much better at the time. I also, also I gave you the rest of the serum. What did the test say? Who gave you this? Gray? Nobody gave it to me. I went back to my lab to get it. You know, when I ran into you. Why did you do it? I told you last time, didn't I? It's because the government suddenly ordered a, a halt to the experiments and we only just managed to produce a new batch of test products as a result of hard work. I was worried that it would be compromised, so I took some of it. How many people have access to this serum? I don't know. You don't know or you don't want to say? I don't know, Reed. I really don't know. Everyone in the lab at different clearance levels. I don't know how many people have direct access to the serum. Let's change the question then. Who brought you into Gray's lab? It was Mrs. Gray. She personally agreed you. She so had nepotistic connections to Gray then. No, 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 no. I attended one of Mr. Gray's seminars. Well, I was undergrad and submitted a lot of questions to them after I graduated. I got it. I got in through legitimate channels and a proper interview. Then did you know that Gray has been involved in a recent terrorist attack? What? No, that can't be. Ms. Gray is just a pharmaceutical expert and how could she be involved in terrorism? There could be some mistake. Just answer the question. Do you know where she's been over the past couple of weeks? I don't know, just as assistant. I'm not her secretary or driver. Come to, don't come to think of it, I don't think Ms. Gray had a secretary at all. So when was the last time you saw her in the flesh? Around the turn of last month. No, that was through a bit ago. I don't think she was in the lab for the past six months. Oh yes, she came to the company early to take an interview. Do you think it makes sense? A pharmacological expert not taking part in research at her lab for extended periods of time. Just expect, are you suspecting Mr. Gray? It was my decision to inject that man with the serum. It has nothing to do with her. Jenny glances at the clock on the wall, his eyes full of impatience. The minute hand ticks in, ticks in its progression, casting his forehead to furrow even more. Have you thought this true, Thoreau? Every answer you give will affect where you will spend the rest of your days. The fact that Gray entrusted you even to you is a clear sign that she holds you in high regard, yet you're claiming ignorance. From Nelly, I have run out of patience with you. But it's true, I really. I really don't know anything. I wanted to work with Mr. Gray more, but I never had the chance. You are suspected of drug line violation, and you are inextricably linked to Gray. Your only hope for a light assignment is to speak the truth. Do you understand me? I like uh, Jay's, Jay's so, like Jay, like, 
J Man he's normally like he he's normally like very like goofy. It was like he's he's going full serious like the, right now. We, we don't know anything. I don't even know what you want me to say. I said what I should say. Can't say I can't say. No way. I don't mean there's a way. I said what I should say. Can't say I and can't say. Can't say and can't say. No way. I don't mean there's anything I can say. I told you everything I know. If you want to look me up, then all I can do is go to jail. What's the maximum sentence I'm looking at? Three years, five years, it can be, right? Surely I can be that buggy. It hasn't been even a year since I started working there. You've been working there for less than a year? Great trusted you so much that she let you handle it. I don't mean less than a year? No. I wasn't the project lead or head supervisor for the item project. I'm just a newcomer who did that processing and odd jobs around the lab. Then why did you have to protect the item samples yourself? How many shares of the company are you holding? Must be quite a lot for you to be so eager to take personal responsibility. Dun, dun, dun. The sound of rapid footsteps approached abruptly, then the door is pulled open by a man. Oh, Jay, uh, sorry, I'm in the wrong room, my apologies. The door quickly closes. Two seconds later, it opens again. Her J. Frau Cornelius Schwarz. I believe I'm supposed to be taking her statement. Yeah, I know Cornelius from a previous encounter. I especially can't wait to sue her. Lest she be scared out of her wits by death integration. You mean you're not here to take my, take my statement? When did I ever say I was here to take your statement? I see, thank you for your hard work here, Jay. Yep, don't be too nervous, Frau Neller. I'll be off now. Tush. Tush. Shots. Shoes. How do, how, how do you pronounce that? Oh, que cochu, Jay. Puta, me le metió miedo. Le metió terror para nada. So you actually know one of the top ages. You're something else, man. Que pendejo, Jay. A dejected Nelly leaves the building. Mia is waiting at the door and runs up to meet her. Are you alright, Nelly? It, I, it passed their test, but they confiscated everything on I'm basically on the house arrest for the time being, so I can't leave Berlin. I can't believe it was the Stacy that took you away instead of the cops. That was scary. They say I was suspecting of causing public panic with illegal drugs and transfer me here. That stupid agent even came over to intimidate me. You mean that Jay? Yes, yeah, him. He said Mr. Gray was involved in terrorism and what? No, he scared me to death. So what happened in the end? They haven't reached a conclusion yet. The sunlight on the broad street is a little glam. The two of them fall silent for a while. Que pendejo, Jay. Pendejazo. Pero funcionó. Atenas O. Tingling! The chime of the bell at the door is accompanied by the twin swing of the pendulum of antique grandfather clock. Please enter, we will stand guard outside. Ooh, Ulrich! Ulrich gives her body one nod and strides inside the shabby bear under watchful gaze. The aroma of wine and flowers mingle in their inside spacious interior. I do you run about it in Berlin! Turns out it's a bar, somehow it doesn't suit you. In the center of the hall, a man with a is back to which is skillfully pouring a cup of fragrant tea. He turns around and smiles at him. For an Englishman, I like to think I'm not too pedantic. Quite the contrary, I enjoy the mood of this place. All which silently sits down on the chair that the air has pulled out for her. She looks at him evenly. Thank you for making time for this meeting. I shall get straight to the point, though. Given the current circumstances, isn't your method legal to your radical? You should know that the Soviets will have quite a lot to say about this. The tea in the ceramic cup is so clear it doesn't seem to contain any impurities at all. We will so always leave it untouched. Everything I do, I do for good reasons, and it is all for achieving a very specific goal. To succeed, I require trust. We have already given a fair amount of trust, or 
However, so far our investment has not paid off. From what I heard, the Soviet agent who's MIA was operating under your orders. Huh. If Angelia has clearly not complied with my orders completely, or she will have found herself in this predicament. But rest assured, Frau Ulrich, I will not say goodbye and do not. I do hope not. Realizing that she is leaning on too much of her own emotions, Ulrich closes her eyes for a second to regain her composure. Then raises the cup, the teacup. Apologies, I was a little agitated. You still have all support in spite of what happened. That says, that said, the success of our great cause was hanging the balance as we near the final steps. So please understand our trepidation. I need to go back to work. Okay. She know that the story she could not find us. So do the Soviets know what happened to Angelia, that she has been kidnapped, or that she's been implied to be, to kill a Stasi agent? Hmm. I do understand. We don't mean to point any fingers, but we will at least like to know what exactly you're doing regarding General Schweistinger. I will answer your question, but I thought you would be more bothered by my active attempt in contacting Minister Oberstein. Oberstein has been a supporter of the Galatea Corporation since the very beginning and is also a core member of the Berlin government. It is not strange at all for you to approach him. He is, after all, an unab unavoidable obstacle in our path. But Schwarzenegger, is he worth it? Perhaps he is, perhaps he is. But it is definitely worth a try. It is important that we go gosh. Go to where he stands. He went that far just to figure out his stance. I want to know what drove him to pick that side. Griffin puts his empty tear cup back down on the table solemnly. This is something I must find out, otherwise, we will never overcome our adversary, no matter how much strength we have amazed. Why? Because even now, we are still not entirely aware of our adversary's true identity. Do you think that's very dangerous? Is our, is our adversary not Minister Overstein? No, oh, that is his son. That's why I thought at first, or rather, that's, that is still my belief for now. However, some doubt still remains. Suspicious that cannot be explained. Such doubt could never become a witness further down the road. It is incredibly risky, I know. But I believe that my efforts will eventually pay off. Amazed, bro. I never would have thought you planned so far ahead. Indeed, it does make one apprehensive. Apprehensive to be aware of enemy lurking in the dark, leaving us exposed and vulnerable. But even so, I still find your methods a little overboard. Quite the contrary, Frau Ulrich. I believe I'm not being radical enough. What? You might find it hard to believe, but time isn't really on our side. After a brief moment of silence, Griffin shakes his head. He has anticipated every move we make. If we don't pick up the pace, we will eventually find ourselves ensnared by the web that he has spun. Only by steering the waters and taking him by surprise will we be able to find a way out. I'm doing early enough. But we must put an end to this before this century starts to waver. It's do or die, or so they say. I understand. I will deal with the matter that you have trusted me. Sorry to tell you. Aldrich glances at her watch, knowing that her time is up. She gets to her feet and probably takes her leave. By all appearance, this seems to have been no more than a simple meeting. Wake up. Griffin also rises and speaks to someone behind him. A doll opens her eyes. KH2002 waiting your orders. Hello, Lee. The info on the place has been dispatched. Find them and establish contact. Understood. In a small house in Berlin. Inside the safe, inside the safe house, unfortified transfer a string of data to the members of the AR team. This is what we managed. Okay. There they was. 
Okay. Help. Oh. This is really big. This will be managed to intercept before M4 took care of Morino. M4 and I have both tried to take crack of it. But so far we still can't determine it whether this is the only snippet of Morino sent out or what it actually means. Well done. What did Mordor say? She, means sh she mentioned a location involved with the development and production of the last boxes. Also, she told me that we better sort everything out before Unity Day. Unity Day. A political special location in Germany. Massive celebration take place in different cities every year. That does seem to be a great choice. I'll take a lot of manpower to make a move at the celebration of that scale. We can pull it off without help. I know. It's quite a challenge, but if we don't do anything, many people's life will be on the line. The commander has stayed for a moment. I know that their mission is technically over. The commander clears their throat and cases at those before them. Mordo may not remain in my custody when we re-establish contact with the Earl. We have no reason to keep her anymore. We're just a PMC, we cannot act without express orders. If we're not assigned a mission, we won't even be able to avenge the Fallen. Not Squad Griffin, not MacLean or Range, the status is still undetermined. I can just let this go. The commander speaks calmly, as he's talking about something inconsequential. However, their voice is still resolute and faithful despite all the setbacks, conflict, helplessness, and even despair that they have experienced since their arrival in Berlin. Our friends are still alive. We must do something for them. Well said. Four or five, please get in touch with the base and tell Miss Alien that we require support. You think she has any hands to spare? The least we will do is ask. We haven't been able to get in touch with the Earl yet, but we cannot possibly overlook such an important link. This could have closed the distance between us and him. Besides, the commander pauses. And she's also currently in communicator. I think we might be able to give her some help, even if it's just a little. Commander. Then let's do it. No matter what your decision is, you will have our full support. I doubt Pardeos will just let those gadgets sit where they are once they learn more of those capture. Not to mention with the with the electronic warfare capabilities the data stream we set can be the only thing she sent out. The star pads on for fire the shoulder and sides. I agree to your plan. We have one request. You must stay out you must stay outside, Commander. Let us take Mordor. With me here, it'll be fine. We can't put you in any more danger, Commander. I will not enter the plan, but I can't stay here either. I'll be at the entrance of Squad 4, giving you support. At the entrance of the Paradeos plan. Once the rampage overgrow has been cleared from the entrance, a passage is revealed. It radiates the pungent metallic stench. The desolate plant seems to have been out of use for a very long time. It looks no different than the other plants we've been to. Are you Rosen or Deckard style? That's fine, go right ahead and give us more feedback. I'll try to get them to do a dog better job next time. How do you think you ever make it back? Who knows, what if I did? Maybe Robin will send me back, isn't that right? The star refuses to acknowledge Mordor. She jabs Mordor back with the box stop of her rifle. Right. You go in the front. Untie me. That's not necessary, don't play any tricks. Who exactly is the one playing tricks here? That's none of your business. Just find the last boxes and hand them to us. This will be over. If I figure something isn't right, there is an ambush. For example, or if the boxes are not genuine. I'll the more reason for you to untie me. This may look like an abandoned plan, but it's full of discarded goods. Oh, they also keep the prototype of the last of boxes here. You've seen them before. If you keep me all trust up, I won't be able to make my way around and I'll just end up slowing you down. Untie her. Are you sure M4? She's relatively harmless now that M4 has done some work on her. I remove Mordor's restraint with much reluctance. Once you're in there, watch her like a hawk. Don't worry, M4. M4 is with us. 
Yeah. Just be careful. The art team slowly disappears through the door. In the pathway inside the patio space. These are 45 air team, do you copy? <coughs> Loud and clear. To avoid having the same problem as last time, everyone has been equipped with a GPS tracker and intercom. This is like a jam, follow the plan route, okay? Acknowledge. That's all for now. On fortify out. After the transmission is turned the the over straight body of Solway comes to her. He plays a heart of the wall and is against it weakly. For five percent more against more little head. Get up, don't touch anything. You'll be just as weak after being you'll be just as weak after being tortured for days. You're a neat, drop the feeble leg. I am a human to begin with. I also get hurt and feel tired. And for walks over and helps Morido up. Keep going. So much more gentle than Nemo can do. Eh? On the other end of the Paradeus Point. A white need to stand still as a rock as Morido's figure is clearly displayed on the surveillance monitor. But no one dares make a move without grace order. They will soon come across all these carter goods. <sighs> Shit, Grace no oh my god, Grace no where there. Our oh, guests will be satisfied with this whole duo burst. Shit. <sighs> oh fuck. Uh, that's that's uh, I don't like that. That's Oh, we're gonna hard. Heart. Okay, there's no... There's no boss. Oh, these guys are... Right? These guys are the, like... These guys are the fucking... 5,000 armor. Right? Activate the control terminal. Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Okay, so I definitely cannot do this. Maybe these guys. Hopefully this works. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh fuck! I forgot. I forgot to deactivate the ferry. <sighs> and the gun don't say don't fuck me over. Got that. Uh, let's just uh, just in case. Okay. 
Interia, in theory, this guy should move, so I need to wait. Oh. Yeah, I guess I didn't need to wait much. Though, not I see it. Shielded. Okay. Uh, I think I can take care with. See if this works. Probably not. I'm about to die. Oh shit. Okay. It would have worked if I didn't activate the the shield fairy, the 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 twin fairy. God damn it! Keep an eye on the countdown. Investigate to buy a lot. Of the box of last weapon. I had to investigate, okay. Uh, three. Oh shit. Oh shit. There we go again. Go off in two more rounds, so oh, that's eerie. Let's do it again, but let's put corn here. Is there? Okay. Four, three, two, one. Sh zero.
zero. I feel like this guy and this guy is gonna fuck me over and get here and here. Yep, I knew it. Oh! Oh fuck, no! I, I completely forgot about her. Oh my god. Ouch. In one hit they get they destroy the ferry. Three, two, okay. Four, three. Easy peasy. I can do it. I can do it. I trust. I can trust. I trust myself. Check. Oh, thank God. Six and eight, eight out of fifteen. Oh well, seven out of fifteen. So, oh shit, I need to retire. Let's do some quick retiring before continuing. here boys oh the fate all the phantom maglians and please oh nice yeah I feel I feel like that that was like a secret achievement Okay, let's check all the prices. Nice, prototype fairy. Yeah, I have a fuck ton of them. I really should like level up some instead of my fairies, but later. <laughs> the Queen a Kindling Starlight. Deep inside the abandoned Pedeus plant. The last eyes are collapsed in front of the group, rebuilding three identical looting good doors behind her. Which way? Not a clue. A bullet whizzes past Mario's shoulder. The next one be just grazed you. There used to be only two doors here. The one on the right leads to the warehouse with the last book in her store. Here's a gentle reminder, if I remember correct, the doors will only open if all of them are operating at the same time. How long will it take to get the last box from here? Just a little more than 10 minutes. What should we do, Commander? Time is short and four, stay behind my guard. More though, the rest of you each take a door. Stay big lad and get in touch up once if something happens. Behind this two balance my turtle grey lips finally curled into a smile. Oh no. Which road do you think we should choose, Pandora? The white beetle next to grey remains fire. 
Three quests are obviously not meant for someone of a station. How capable are they compared to your former teammates? <gasps> this bitch! Task for the fight is the most exceptional combat squad in the new Soviet Union. Speaking purely in terms of specs, any member of the fight will have an overwhelming advantage over them. However, however, the air team is special in the sense that they don't operate on common sense. M4 and 1 is the best example of that. Even I, even I can explain what happened in the farm map, actually. It was almost like a fairy tale. What do you think? Fairy tale, how so? Absurdity is what makes the world such a wonderful place. So the key lies with Nim again. Now that makes things more interesting. What well, the drips down from the ceiling? Drop out. Oh, what that that fucking traitor man! Oh my god! What well, the drips down from the ceiling? Drop after drop. The reek of mold is repulsive. What's even more of Putin is the long wait for the unknown. Time seems to drag on. Each passing cycle feels like an eternity of torment. It's just the two of again. I miss you, you know. What should I call you now? Call me what you always have. Nemo game? Alright, is that what you prefer? Why didn't you go with them? I don't think anyone but you could beat us. The other team is, isn't made of just any ordinary dolls. Sure, there's nothing ordinary about them. But again, nurses, they might as well be lambs waiting to be slaughtered. Against me, your companions, of who you think of so highly, were not all that impressive either. We we'll still have others. We have lots of outstanding creations. They are all the same, but anyone with 80% of narcissistic strength will prove too much for your friends to handle. Then I will deal with her the way I deal with you. And for false silence, she puts a hand on Mordor's shoulder and pushes down onto her knees. Then she activates her communicator. The team? And what was wrong? Is everything alright on your end? Yeah, nothing but regular isomers so far. I also found something. It's a similar structure as the one we signed, boss, so with more complex. They conversation is through by another incoming transmission. And for 14 sub, everybody doing okay? I'm here. I'm here. I couldn't get in touch with sub or the commander. And for be careful with more re do more more re do the disconnect don't beep through the line. A wave of enemy wash over M4. She grabs murder by the trout. The trout goat. You should know that I can make sure work of you. Yeah, how oh, I know, I know that better than anyone else. Don't you understand him again? M4 stares down at the inside of Morido. Her disquiet totally nowhere to be found. I do, I understand everything now. You first we go down the same path and meet the same end as you. Oh. Oh, looks like I reached the end. The path has come to an end. Sub 2 turns to her right night vision and starts observing her surroundings. In the corner lies several TV stacks of faintly glowing spheres. Sub to realize that those are their mission objective. Class of us hypnosis. This is great, Commander. I found our objective. Rogue 15, you don't have to give surgeon, I got it. Sub to approaches the last box and shares news of a discovery with her teammates. Beep 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 beep. The count's channel is completely dead. Commander, Rogue 15? Why isn't anyone answering me? Sub to grumbles as she walks up to the last boxes to retrieve one of them. She reaches out to the last of boxes emitting a faint glow. Banana lets off an action's cheer behind her. What's the matter, Banana? Do you miss Rome? When Sub looks back, she suddenly notices that the door behind her has closed. Oh no. An instinctive sense of danger rushes through her limbs like lightning. She immediately backs away from the last boxes. Which didn't dodge the gigantic stinger attached to a tail that shoot out from behind the wall. <gasps> so blocked the attack with her left arm, the stinger shaped like a cy cycle, 
pierces squarely through her limbs and locks her in place. Bastards, I will explain their death. Show yourself. Subtil lets off a grunt and tears at the stinger with her teeth. Give up your pathetic struggles, pray at falling into the hunter's trap would never escape. <laughs> the stinger is incredibly purple, subtil stops attempts to break it and just pulls her arm out instead. It's the first time someone has tried to hunt me. <laughs> Go on then, show me what you got. Under the Nito's command, figures lightly in ambush emerge one after the other from the shadows. Even when faced with an airtight encyclement, Sub 2 shows no fear at all. And simply allows Sephiroth like a wild beast. <laughs> oh my god, Sub! There are plenty of you, which means I get to tear off lots and lots of parts. I just have simply request. Please scream as loudly as you can. The louder the better. Oh my god. Oh my god, Sub, what a maniac! The white figures rush toward the maniacal doll. The maniacal doll, like a tide, a sting more stingers away the perfect moment to strike. Oh my god. With her throat gripped by in a vice monitor, struggling for breath, and yet she is still trying to push words through her lips. You're scared, aren't you? You're worried that your friend is beyond your help. And forgive no answer and just types in their grip. The other team blurs and draws with every fight. I saw this coming. Stop deleting yourself, it won't work. Can you perform another miracle? I don't think you have the strength to pull that off. You'll have to try harder. So confident, very good, you're quite like me. Join us. Father will welcome you warmly. Oh right, why else would she send you to get me? And for Gasser, Morrison draws. Morito's smile vanishes completely. Wait, what? And for Gasser, Morito and draws. Morito's smile vanishes completely. She looks back at M4 and struggles weakly. Restore me, I can reactivate this system here. There's no need for that. Just tell me where the central terminal is. I handled it myself. Haha, <laughs> that's one way of doing it. A sharp blade gas grasses his up cheek, but not by mistake. It's a gesture of disdain, of provocation, on their opponent's part. Is that all you got? Sopti is completely mobilized by the many stingers that have impelled her body on. O sea, déjame un segundo. ¿Eh? Qué raro. Why don't you just relax a little and take a nap like your teammate? Listen, you shrimp. You keep babbling nonsense, I rip out your thumb. I'll show some mercy by letting you hear your teammate's desperate house before I end your life. The white needs smiles because as she plays her communicator next to Sub 2 here. Sub 2, Sub 2! Save where? Bro, are you alright? The way needs to turn us off for communicator. There's nothing more heart-wrenching than the wails of a friend on the verge of death. Oh. Roar. Oh my god! Sub to tears the white little's hands right off with a bite. The communicator clanches, clatters on the floor. floor. You grab it, dog. I'm going to kill you all! Sub 2 rides violently and starts freeing herself from the stingers by force. Just got, I just got them four back. Our last life is 16. I will never let you hurt my friends! Why are you just standing there? Kill her! The four, four. The four sub breaks free. The Paradeus is closing on her again. Icy lances, icy sights, and icy swords. The pain of being pierced by these weapons is all the same. Sop holds in terrible pain and mouths the nearest Paradeus units with the one arm she has managed to free. Ah! Oh my god, she's going she's going down with them. Kill her, kill her! 
rather by sub to stand called Jules, the Paradeus in its dog has him I and mean, back away for a moment. Banana, who has been hiding behind Sub the whole time, smells an opportunity. It scrambles up to an elevated position and extends its scene that we've seen. Sub 2! Bro! Gritting her teeth, Sub 2 rips herself free of all the stingers. The moment she hits the ground, she picks up her weapon. Grenade! Oh my shit. The explosion across the sent to feel Sub 2 fly. She never lets go of her trigger. She gets fired, consumed by her battle rage. By the time she comes to her senses, the entire room is littered with broken paradeus remains. Sub two is slumped in the corner. Her body mobilized. Her body mobility on now only 30%. After some simple adjustments, she starts crawling towards a stack of plaza boxes, staying safe and sound at the other end of the room. Sub two. What now? You're blowing out my out my hearing, Mario. Are you okay? There was a huge emotion coming from your side. I'm fine. All right, I found our missing object objective. Great, I'm coming over. The signal was jammed, and then for you fix it. You didn't run into Paradeos, did you? Hey, hey, I did run into a few. I took care of them. <laughs> a few. After a long and difficult cross, sub two finally reaches the last of boxes. She wraps herself around one of the fears. Are you hurt? Your voice sounds a bit odd. I'm okay, I'll see you later. Sub 2 lifts up the last box and rises to her feet held by the wall. Her legs are so badly damaged she can't walk properly anymore. Leaning against the wall, she staggers toward the exit one slowly step after another. A row of familiar footsteps draws in closer. More of those beasts are than four, whose result case is making her waver with unsentient. Perhaps this is the right time. Oh, where you travel, you see roses. Where there is a fence, there is a home. Morido suddenly closes her eyes and starts seeing a light headed song that sounds incredibly out of place. You heard this song before, haven't you? Comps have been restored, we can regroup at your entrance. And then. Then we blow this place up, just as we blew up the farmer factory. Ah, an unsurprising decision. In an inconspicuous corner, an electric door slides open. The white need to stand in next to it eyes the woman who just walked through timidly. What? We're aborting. <laughs> We're aborting. Teacher has ordered us to withdraw. Huh. Oh. Wait. More though is teacher, right? Supposedly. Then what do we do? We're going back. Our task remains the same. A bucket of cold water splashes all over the bloodstained woman. Heavy footsteps approach the room. The commander opens the door and sits down tightly. How is up to you? What if I write a diagnostic? Good thing we have some replacement parts with us, but she won't be able to participate in hiding test the battles for the time being. Star swings around and throws another bucket of cold water over Mordo, who is grinning weakly while lying in a puddle of blood and water. So this is how you repay me, Robin. You still dare use that name? What the hell did you do back then? I didn't do anything. I'm not buying it. What happened to her signal reception? When did you start thinking at the center terminal? Who were you controlling? Uh, if I could still control Paradeus, you wouldn't have left that place alive. Use your head, the plan has been altered beyond my recollection. How will I know what happened to your signal reception? <laughs> she, spit up, she spits out a wad of blood. It blooms like a crimson rose next to her face. I gave you what you want. Robin, I trusted you, but you didn't trust me. Just like when my sister gave you the medicine. Did you trust her? Or will you travel where do you see roses? Where there is a fan, there is a home. Tomorrow the voice has grown very hoarse. Probably due to the extensive torture he has suffered. She starts singing the song she sang in the plan, faltering every now and then. 
What do you think this is, Robin? This is just a nursery rhyme that my sister and I used to sing back when we were still human. You must hear it before. It doesn't really mean anything. It's, I just sang it without thinking. You weren't the only one they were trying to kill at the plant. They were going after me as well. The last boxes in this plant surpassed your previous one, both in scale and capability. Most of them are only half complete. What exactly will the final product be? It exactly would you see any match. An upgrade version of a small scale biological weapon, a large scale. So the disaster in Berlin was just a prelude. What are you after? I'm just a relatively high ranking unit among an army of obedient puppets. You disappoint me so, Robin. Moido resumes humming the nursery rhyme nonchalantly. Her twisted and exaggerated smile looks extremely jarring in contrast of the innocuous melody. Enough! Moido's head is knocked heavily against the floor, causing her to pass out. Her lips are still cold in a faint smile. An uncharacteristic peacefulness can be found on this face that looks eerily identical to Magnus. <coughs> what a bitch! Ring, the phone rings. <laughs> Mia does not answer and Nelly does not move either. Four rings later, the call goes to voice message. Why don't you kill yourself, you whore? Mia rushes over to turn off the answering machine. Some heartless member of the press has leaked news about Nelly, and the harassing phone calls have been coming in non stop over the past few days. Ring the phone rings again and Mia Savage hits the answer button. Go to hell, you ruin everything because of you there, refugees don't trust the government anymore. Mia hangs up, but just as she puts down the handset, she hears the familiar ringing again. Are you spy or something? Scram and go back home, you stupid bitch. Mia hangs up again. She'll just disconnect the line, you'll need peace and quiet. Once again, the familiar ringtone plays. Mia is about to hang up reflexively, but then she sees the world's Smith gray on the color ID. It's gray. Nona's eyes snap open as she darts away to pick up the call. Huh. This is an emergency announcement due to unavoidable circumstances. Our workplace remains unusable. The company has decided to publish it down the search center. Do not return barring special circumstances to the any questions to the entry manager. It was a good call. Yeah. Nelly hangs up Grey calls and slips weakly onto her sofa. What's wrong? The lab's closed. It's all my fault. If I am being so impulsive, things will have ended up this way. But the Stasi didn't contact you again. Huh? Mean, that means the maze is inside, and I'm alright too. Yeah, there was something wrong with the maze, and they won't just shut down the lab. But even though the maze is fine, you still can go back to work. That's just strange. Miss Beard didn't reply to the single message I sent her. Looks like she already boosted. She really, she hasn't made an appearance for a long time. Yeah, I don't know what Miss Gray has been through. It used to be Miss Gray would give lecture to her lunch or dinner time because she said she needed to pour her energy into her lab into the lab. A proper scientist will never just send experiments over to the people below them. Someone who doesn't take part in the work on the front lines doesn't deserve to have their name on the project them list. That's what Mr. Gray said back then, but But as I entered the lab I hardly ever saw her. Hmm. I wonder if she meet the the real Grey. Maybe it's all cheap. Perhaps she might not be able to practice as she preaches. It's great not someone like that. Nella jumps up on the sofa and screams while pointing at the singing on a wall of the, of the room. I used to work at that lab precisely because Miss Gray isn't like the other. I know you admire her, but she might not be as simple and pure as you think, Nella. 
So you think there's some truth in what that agent said? Yeah. It's true, I'm bothered by what he said. But how shall I handle this? You don't need to handle this. It's nothing to do with you. Says who? I... There's a rapid series of knocks on the door. Who's there? Hello, I'm from state security. This apartment block has been surrounded by refugees. What do you mean? The news this morning said that the suspect involved in the Eden dead was released from police custody. Someone put the banner downstairs. We don't know where they got their information from. There were only a few dozen refugees of fear, so we could still handle them. But more and more passers by join in and know some of the homeowners are taking part too. This is really getting out of hand. Maybe you should consider taking shelter as well. Our security guard, how do you expect us to leave when the entire building is surrounded? How is anybody going to trust your security firm when you force the homeowners out the moment something happens? You're facing unarmed civilians here. Can you do something about it? We security guards are not law enforcement personnel and we aren't authorized to use firearms. Our chief has already called the cops and frankly speaking, given your situation you might be safer in a police station. One more thing, they are going door to door with pictures. If you don't leave now, there's no telling what might happen. The security guard puts it gradually fade away. We again to push the door open and glances around the side. A million cross, the apartment block completely surrounded. They'll probably be spotted right away, no matter where they live from. Chukli comes back in and locks the door securely. Nelly, you are under tenure. There's, there are troublemakers everywhere outside. They spot us even if we jump out of window. I probably couldn't protect you by myself if, I, if we went out there. Mia thinks and dials a number. Hey. Hey, who's... That's, that's one of the new dolls. Mia? Lenny, sorry to bother you at a time like this. But I got nowhere else to turn. Please come over ASAP. I need your help to save someone. Alright, give me the address. Mia sends the address over and things seem ready before going over to Nelly. Who has been silent all this time? Nelly, pack tight, night, we will leave once Lenny comes. We're surrounded by all those people, then leaving isn't going to be a matter of numbers, let me think. Yes, all we can do is try our best to give you a cover. It'll be very hard to take care of this mess unless government people show up. That's it. Oh? Huh? The agent helped me con- help. The agent helped me contact them. McDonald's! Toshia! Beta! At the end of certain logistic company, people are just going and out through the main door. Jay is probably watching Mona talk to people there. Soon, Mona returns. I just finished checking their transport through the data. We managed to narrow down the possible incident area. Should we go back and meet up with Kay? Whatever you say, and use a tag alone like after all. The people from the technical department should be able to send us restore HD images after you. We might learn something new from it. I don't understand why you and Kay are so serious about a mission like this, which is clearly me to me, you know. Hey, the J. Still alive. Ding, Mona received an HD file. What I mean, this logo. This I go, why? That logo now has his full and undivided attention. That's Galatea's logo. This is the first time Mona has seen a serious expression on Jace. Has seen a serious like that. Huh, now this is getting interesting. Then again. Hello, Agent J. Nele. Our apartment block is under siege by refugees. We have information of the police news. We have information that the police must never find out. But I'm pretty sure you'll be interested in this info. Give me the address. Okay, I've ran out the door. You might want to meet up with her. She's called Lenny. Now they hands up and then she sends her address over shortly afterwards. Jay jumps to leave with nice moon up blocking him. I, Agent J insists that we act together. I will not budge on this. Hey, didn't you want to walk the case? We got a girl team from another friend. They're still up to us, so why are we still wasting time here? Huh. 
Okay, this, this, is gonna, this is gonna be an easy mission, probably. Oh my god, my back hurts. <sighs> Shit, what the fuck? Rescue the hostage. Nella. Where's Nella? Oh, there she is. Okay. Rescue hostage Nella. Hmm. Wait, how the fuck do I get there if I only have... Hmm. <gasps> oh shit, okay, yeah. Okay, wait. Okay. Starvation. Oh shit! Take that. Ooh, oh, oh, she, she is a doll. I thought, I thought she was just a, a normal. I mean, she is a tea doll. I mean, I can use her. I thought she was just a normal doll. I like this team. This little team J has made. FP9, APC, MG3. I like this, this is like Team J. And I think so. Oh, okay, next turn. Hopefully this fuck doesn't go here. No, fuck! Ah! I fucked up. It's gonna fuck me over. Oh shit, I fucked up. Sorry, Jay. I fucked up. Ah, oh, Jay. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I mean, he's. Yeah, he has his. his he has his. Damage out of the world.
Shit, one, two, three, okay. <laughs> Do not resist. You know, thinking about it, I could, I could make a cosplay of Jay. I mean, I have the clothes. You need, well, you need like black gloves and this necklace, but I could do a pretty good cosplay of Jay. I gotta try. I gotta try it someday. I mean, also Jay is like it's kind of generic, but I, I kind of have the the hair too. Oh no, fuck. Okay, so I need to rescue her. And then I need to find. I need to go here, probably. No! Oh my god! How the fuck? Oh shit! Oh no, I, oh god damn it. Guys, I probably need here, here, here.
crap. Fuck. Ugh. Okay, no. Creo que sí, sí o sí necesito ese Goliat. Wait, somebody just somebody just hung up home.
Ok, voy a... Voy a dejar de leer porque leer me, me demora más. Así que solamente voy a, voy a... Voy a dejar de leerlo en voz alta. Así que solamente voy a leerlo en mente y... Terminar con esto rápido porque... La historia, la historia me está enganchando pero me está dando hambre. Así que... A, a meterle turbo. Fuck, I, I say that... I say that was that in Spanish. Ah. Ok, I'm, what I'm saying is that... Um, I need to eat, but I, need, I wanna finish the chapter before I eat, so I'm gonna st stop reading and just read faster. Let's go. Also, what a piece of shit, this uh, Bramit. Ah, that, she's Bramit D, okay. I mean, what a piece! Of sh she was talking with the other guy, which was the the national the nationalist racist from Germany, right? That Anch Anch had had detained. The root is compromised. What a piece of shit! Bailey. Is that is that like they do do found found the commander?
se sintió como en como en este Ace Attorney cuando las pistas se conectan y están ah oh, hold it Oh shit. We're gonna fight that girl. No, no sé. Oh shit, it's gonna be hard. This this looks hard. Okay, let's try this. I can do this in less than 50 minutes, probably. Hopefully. Oh shit, that looks big. Oh shit. Which every rather no, please search the map for intel. Every rather no. Oh my god. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. with plastic spots can throw them at the structure with no That's, that's easy. Okay, maybe not that easy. Okay, that's easy. There's no fog of war, I guess. <gasps> Wait, no. Of course, I hawk. Mm, to me. Oh, yes. Of 
cause. I need I need her. Maybe not maybe next make next turn maybe. <laughs> Wait, where the fuck did that come from? She fucked them up good. Here, God damn it. I don't know if the story is enough for that, but let's let's see if it is. Actually, try and make another MG team because I think I need them.
Oops. Uh, okay, I'm gonna start pick up No. No, see, pick up here. It's a shotgun. No. Four stop the commander from approaching. Don't come any closer, commander. It constrains right here, particularly here, way above normal parameters. The levers are completely different from what we think that the place we just check out. Hmm. I guess radiation means it's like collapse particle radiation. Not the best team to fight the doppelstorm, so. Oh, damn it.
que tengo que esperar ahora. Oh, those guys are new, I, I just realized. Grenade, they, they launch grenades, huh? Let's hope for the best. Nice, I fucking love Alchemist. She's the fucking best. You're gonna exp oh yeah, there we go. Find small black object made of rubber in the bushes by the road. This might be a fragment of a tire. 
Recollect the fragment carefully. There are more fragments of the black sprat we, we just found. Looks like this really is the transport route. Right, gate okay, close. Case okay, close. Oh fuck! the fuck with these double summon I should not have survived this, but I did. So fuck yeah. Suddenly come to life. It's some 45. Tension you did is a very explosive. Not only have they deployed units, but they also rigged the place with high explosive. The gain of such a warm welcome. Guess it is the drawback of being a so popular. You ready for the fate of crazy fans? Let's go, it's time to give them a wake up call. Okay, I just need one more.
Oh fuck no! Oh my god! The air team is gonna get fucked. Oh no, they did. Oh no, they're gonna get fucked. Shit! I hope that's not a game over. Yeah, there's no way you're gonna... Oh my god, I hope this... I hope this is not a game over. Please tell me it's not a game over. Okay, it's not. Thank god. That guy gives a, a boost. You can't boost what's dead. And my and my team is oh no okay yeah I, I love LTX she's just boom she just he punches her. I did it. I fucking did it. Oh my god. Fucking bless. Can 
Commander, please don't stray too far from us. There are traces of Paradeo's activity nearby. Paradeo's again? What are they involved in everything? This proof that Bezos penetrated into every nook of Berlin. What does that mean? These rats have probably chief holes all over the city. Hmm. I'm an expert in walking mold. The moment those Paradeo's rats poke their heads out, I'll give them a good old whack. Please do, Sop. Please do. Okay, so there should be two more of story. So I'm just gonna read. I'm just gonna read. By an advanced girl in Germany. <laughs> Pues llegó una imagen que donde la carretera, autobahn, autobahn creo que es carretera, no, no sé, pero la carretera todo oscuro y veo un nito de fondo, eso, eso es dar miedo. Uh. Saber and the blade because the chili metal. Just as you said, the sharp edges already glinting coldly on the rose eyes. What? Multiples. Commander! Fifteen! So two bulls drain me to such a monster. She's fast. What? Ah, Greek, Greek. Huh? Sister. Those who fail have outlived their purpose. You taught me that. Oh, Lamadar? You're going to kill me? Hold on, do you have any idea what you're doing? Goodbye. <gasps>
¿Quién, quién, ¿Quién nos está ayudando? Oh, auto mention. Nice to meet you, Commander. I'm Kaibar, sent by the Earl to aid you. I wasn't late, was I? Your ride was most timely. Good to hear. <coughs> What's your saving name again? M4 siempre, siempre la ha hecho buena ayudando. Ah, o sea que Grey, Grey le tiene un culo de respeto a Mórrido. Ah. Ah. Yo pensaba que más bien se medio odiaban. Ok, último, último para terminar el capítulo 2. Fuck, I'm speaking in Spanish. Ah, oh, goddammit. I was saying that. I'm surprised Grey respects Mórrido a lot. I thought. They hate each other. I mean, huh? Hey Griffin, thank you for being such a nice guy and, co and trusting us. Oh. Sí. Fucking shit! I'm gonna work. I have to move a car. I'll be back.
finish. Let's go. I need to go to. I need to fucking pee. I, have to, I see. I keep that in mind. Hmm. The brave new world will remember your contribution. Yeah, fuck you. But yeah. It's doing my duty. Or, mm -hmm. What? What are you doing them for? Ange. <sighs> Leave it to me, huh?
shit. M4 is like... M4 is really fucking her up. Now that's an interesting question you you're making them for. What do you mean? Of course you are. As in, do you think I'm actually M4 and one herself? I have been through things have changed me. At this point, do you think I'm still the M4 I wanted? You know. As long as your nature remains unchanged, you will always be M4 I want. The M4 I know may sometimes feel lost and in this in this in this ice. But she also keeps growing and changing. Above all, she has an unwavering sense of goodness and decency. She's why the belief that will say, You are in for one. Okay, she's here, huh? Frontier Special Region 1718 For the Motherland For the Motherland For the Motherland Shit Just you wait The spark won't go out so easily we're getting close to midnight, boys. We're getting close to midnight. 52, 52 seconds to midnight? Well, that's been all. I need to go to, I need to go to, I need to go to, to pee and to eat. So, thanks to anybody, whoever the hell wants to watch watch all these and have a good night i'll do chapter three and someday one of these days <laughs>